Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to work on the 240SX. This is a S13. We're going to do the S13.4 conversion, the JDM Koki conversion, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So take a look at the 240. Okay, we're going over the parts you're going to need S14 hood hinges, those right there. You're also going to need the AIT brackets for the S14 conversion, fenders, the S13.4 fenders. You're also going to need a, a bumper, the headlights, corners. We're using the, the JDM Koki um, OEM bumper. And we're also using the OEM S14 Koki hood and we're gonna get to work. Okay, we're back on the car. We're gonna start off by opening the hood. That's our engine bay right there. We're gonna first take the hood off, take those two bolts right there for the bracket, for the hood. Also the other two right there from the hinges and then we're going to start taking the, uh, the fenders. So the allen bolt right there, take that one off. Also that one, that one and there's two inside of there and there's one on the corner of the door and there's two on the bottom of the fender. Same thing on, on that side. And also we're gonna take off the bumper. We're gonna take the Allen bolt off there. That one too, those two, because we're gonna replace them with the AIT Racing S13.4 conversion brackets. So we're not gonna need these stock ones anymore. And we're gonna get to work. Took the hood off. And now I'm gonna show you. These are the S14 hood hinges. The S13 usually bolt up right there. But this is a S14, so you're going to have to just bolt it up to one bolt. And I'm going to drill a hole here. And tap it. That way it, um, it's going to have two bolts holding the hood, not just one. And that's what you need to do when you're doing the S13.4 conversion. Like I said, um, the S13 usually goes like this with the two bolts. The S14 conversion, you need to scoot it back and drill an additional hole. Okay, right now I'm working on the hood hinges. You can either drill a hole and use one of these tappers to make thread or you can use a hole saw, drill a hole, put a nut in the inside and the, the bolt on the top and tighten it up like that. Also, I'm going to do the Honda mod on the hood hinges. I'm going to notch this. That way you can flip the hood all the way up. These are the S14 hood hinges. I'm going to do the Honda mod. I, I marked where I want to cut because they have a little stopper. So you can't go all the way up. That's how it looks like. And we're going to cut this piece just like this how this one goes all the way up we just cut that to make it go higher okay I cut that little notch on the S14 hinges on both of them that's what it's supposed to look like now you can have all the adjustment you want so you just cut right here both sides you can sand them down too if you want after you finish tapping the hole just a couple of threads up in there now you're gonna be able to have one two this is the 
hole that we tapped for the um, other bolt. That way uh, the hinges hold down with two bolts instead of one. This is for a S14 to a S13 chassis. This is where they used to line up right here, right here. And now with the S14 hinges, it lines up here. Also, I did this hole just in case, you know, the threads didn't go all the way in. You can just put a nut from the back, from the, from the inside, and tighten it from the top. Take the bumper off. Now we're going to take off the headlights, both of them. Taking the headlight off. So you're going to take off this bolt, this one, this one right here, and there's two more, that one and that one. Take off both headlights, both sides. Now we're going to take off this bracket. We're going to install the S13.4 AIT racing bracket on this side, also here, and there's going to be one in the middle. So we need to take this bracket off, also that one. Those two bolts and there's like two down there. Take off the brackets that went here, also on that side. The AIT racing brackets are gonna go here. And now we're gonna take the bumper support. We're gonna take that bolt off there also that one right there those two and same thing on, on this side i took off the bumper support off and now we're going to take off the fenders on both sides on this uh s13.4 conversion you have to cut like a box to fit the S14 headlights or else it won't it won't go all the way in. So we're gonna do that in a little bit. So I took off the fenders. These are the AIT Racing S13.4 uh, brackets for the headlights and the bumper. And this side I have to fix the wire harness because it's pretty bad so I'm gonna tuck it in like that might as well do it right now since I have the fenders off finish fixing up the, the wire harness that's how it looks Finish installing the headlight and bumper bracket for the S13.4 conversion. This is how it looks. I have to drill this hole a little bit bigger to fit the other bolt, also on this side. Okay, I'm working on the driver's side, cutting the little window. This is how it should look. You don't want to cut too much, because then it's going to look ugly. I sand down all those sharp edges. This is the driver's side. And this is how the passenger side looks. So now I'm um, test fitting the headlight. Now I'm gonna put the side bracket that goes here to here.
put a uh, headlight on so it bolts up right there these two holes hold the headlight this middle one is for the tab for the headlight just like that and this is the other bracket I have to um, drill two holes right here Install the hood. I have to adjust the headlights, bring them up higher. It latches down like stock. I'm working on my headlights. I also test fitted the front bumper. It bolts up to this single bolt right here. This is what it looks like with the hood closed. Actually latches down. Good. And we have a gap, so now I'm gonna drill these holes. So I'm going to bring it up to close the gap. Put one of the brackets on. That's how it should look. Kind of close the gap. Not that much. Okay, I installed the driver's side AIT racing bracket for the S13.4. This is the side brackets that hold the headlight. And this is the other side, passenger side. Installed both headlights with the side brackets. This is the little gap that we have. Yeah, and this guy knows what he's doing. Took off the headlight because I have to align the fenders. You want to uh, leave the side headlight bracket on so you can drill the holes, top and bottom. And the two holes you have to do first is the bottom and then the top. That's the fitment right now. You can open the door and it won't. That bolt right there. You have to do that one first and then do the top one. And it doesn't rub. And you're going to have to put. One bolt here, drill a hole, one there, and one right here. They're not gonna line up to the factory ones, too short. Okay, when you drill in the two holes, you want to you want to do two. That way, you have more adjustment. And go back and forth on the fenders. Just like that, do two holes on each side and then kind of just do it in the middle. That way you can just cut it out and it'll go back and forth. Just like that. Drilled the holes. Kind of made them like slotted. That way you can go front and back. I'm bolting up the fender. I got one bolt here. I get a hole here. 
and this is where the bottom bolt right here from the fender to the bumper and this is the arch and the bumper overlaps the fender like this so I'm gonna put a screw right here put the headlight back on bolt it on that's how it looks right now and now I'm working on the corner lights what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to notch like a line right here so you can fit the corner light let me show you Put this underneath see right now it doesn't go in there so you have to notch it so you can bolt up the corner light So you have to make like a line, like a notch. That, that way you can slide the corner light. It'll press into here, and then you can bolt it up right there. Still working on the fitment. Um, what you're gonna have to do on the corner lights from the fender, this part that goes here that bolts up to here, you're gonna have to cut it bottom and top. That way your corner light fits a lot flush. Also, you won't have a gap on your hood. That's what it looks like right now. On both sides. Not too bad. So you're gonna have to cut this part from the fender and also the top part, that way you can slide the corner light in. And also the fender will go in more, you won't have a gap. Once you put the screw on the bumper and the fender, now you're going to put the corner light. the passenger side once you adjust the hood the two bolts underneath side to side on both sides then you'll get a um, you'll get the fitment like this it's pretty good so I'm pretty much done right now gonna see the other side this is the passenger side this is the closest I could get it to being this good so this is how you do a s 13.4 we're gonna hook up the headlights for the S14 and I'm going to show you how you do it so you're going to grab this little pick tool take off this little clip little blue clip like that and then pry the little tabs start pulling the wires just like that the red and the blue one are the power and the two black ones are ground so we're gonna hook up right here to your stock s13 headlight harness we're gonna put the red one and the ground on the side and we're gonna try it out okay so that's the high beam and i think the blue one it's gonna be the low beam so now you don't need this connection, this plug. You can uh, hook them up like this. These two are, this is the high beam, the red, and the low beam is the blue. We're gonna hook them both up together and the two grounds. 
So now we're going to try them out. Okay, we got both low beam and high beam working. And that's how you install your headlights on your S13.4 conversion. Okay, this is how your S13.4 should look like when you're done. That's the gap right there on your passenger side. And the gap right there. We're going to turn the lights on.